night. Good morning. It's a brand new day. I think I had my first experience with sleep paralysis last night. Um, it was short-lived, but I, I'm pretty sure that's what that was. My dreams last night were very strange. Today, we are here. Today, it's a brand new day. I have low energy. Yes. So I don't have the energy to do the whole squeeze sequence as I normally would. But I do have the energy to cut a lime, lemon and just squeeze it into my mouth. So that's what I'm going to do. This is problematic. Cheers. My throat was so restricted this morning when I woke up. I could not push out a word. I can feel my throat restricting the expansion to speak. I feel like a gatherer in the wild. My name is Casey, welcome to a new video. Okay, that's all I have to bear right now. Welcome to a new video. The objective is to finish the collage because today, quite frankly, is my last day till it's due anyways. I have very little expectations for myself today and um, that's how we will keep it. I didn't go to the yoga this morning. It was not a good idea. My body needs to rest. I, I look kind of mess. I look like a mess today. I, I probably look the same to you. And maybe I'm just projecting my internal feeling. But I definitely feel like I look sick. I'm wearing a long dress socks brown socks the puffer is staying on the whole time i'm in the cafe working on my design it's cold out there anyways it's like 50 degrees it's like i mean right now it's 41 but they did say the low was 35 very cold even 41 is really cold for me nonetheless i hope you are well i got sunrise on the lips by pacifica also i put crimson crush on too so it's a combination of the both good morning talk to you later i always feel very strange opening up a video also i have this piece of lavender in my hair for comfort, for comfort. I feel like you were judging me, that's why I have so much force in that word. Hi, it's me again. Are you shocked? Welcome to my channel. This is my channel where you see nothing but me. This is all me. Is this, are we too close? Is the camera too close? Should I take the lavender out of my hair? What is the vibe? I just got out of the bath. I had a moment in there of just reflection. I cried. It was nice. And I'm feeling called to sit here and speak with you. I feel like we're too close because you can't see that I'm wearing a shirt. So I'm going to ask that you back up. So thank you. While I was in the bath, I was like, when I get out of here, we're going to talk to the camera. I'm not sure what, but I'm feeling called to speak to the camera and it'll just flow. I have some crown chakra, binaural beats playing. So I think I'm just gonna talk to you about what's on my mind. Disregarding sickness. And I'm very grateful for this sickness because it gave me three days away from work as I was overworked, tired, and I have my own graphic design project to finish, which I haven't finished by the way. And I know that was the only objective for today, but my objective really is overcoming sickness. I bought Dayquil when I was at the market. I was like, is this even necessary for me to buy at this point? Because I'm literally, this is literally my last day of being unbearably sick. Since the morning, I've been feeling still sick, just very like normal about it. Like it doesn't feel like it's going to take over my entire being. Anyways, if I'm itching myself a lot right now, I'm, my skin is feeling very itchy. My sheets are on my bed because I just didn't get there yet, okay? This is a judgment-free zone. I don't need to hear about it. I, yes, I slept with no sheets on my bed last night, and I'm going to do it again tonight, too. Maybe that's why I had sleep paralysis, is because the spirits hated that I was sleeping on a naked bed. So while I was in the bath, I was just reflecting on myself and trying to figure out like what I'm feeling. I feel very big feelings. I have a big juicy heart that comes with big feelings, feeling depth, seeing depth, hearing depth. Like all of my senses are very, very strong, supersonic. Sometimes I feel very disconnected from everything around me. I feel like I'm floating in an experience that I don't quite understand. And right now, I feel like I'm struggling to balance my material life as I know it. Like this me being me in this body versus my spiritual fulfillment and my morals, my path. For example, I'm working two jobs, which I hate. I hate it so much. I'm not having a good time. And technically, I'm really balancing four jobs because I'm doing my graphic design thing and YouTube. Like, And these are all things that I really enjoy. I mean like graphic design and YouTube. Like I really enjoy it, but it's hard to balance all these things. It's hard to balance all four, especially when like two of them is just what you're doing to make sure that your bills are paid and to fund hobbies as in graphic design and YouTube for me. You know, your artistic side. 
and then I have other aspects of my life that I have to put on the back burner or neglect for the time being because there's just realistically it's just not that many hours in a day like it just doesn't work that way sorry to me I'm, I'm sorry to myself I find myself kind of avoiding my emotional needs I find myself doing little things that avoid myself it just reminds me of old habits that I used to have that made it feel like I was doing more than I actually was an example would be walking into shops and window shopping just to feel something like I can fill that void with other things you know that's a really good example another example would be an overconsumption of hot chocolates from my several local coffee shops I have an obsession with hot chocolate right now it's just very comfortable it feels very comfortable it's something I can lean on it's like a really good friend that I don't have and then I was waiting for the bus and I had a moment where I'm like what am I doing I talk to myself a lot by the way like on the streets me being me I, I stand with myself I talk to myself a lot very like to myself so I'm sure if there's somebody next to me unless they're like really close and normally I don't really speak to myself if there's other people that I know could hear me but I want I do speak to myself a lot so I'm sitting there on the bus stop alone asking what do I need like what am I doing right now why am I feeling so unfulfilled and it's more than just me working two jobs so I really had to sit there and be honest with myself because even my channel what I'm doing on YouTube it started off very fun like it started off very fun for me and I find that that happens to me a lot and now I'm at this place with my channel where it just feels kind of I don't even know how to put it it's just like I I guess I'm just being I'm being honest with my feelings which is great and like that's what I want because my whole objective is to be fully myself my entire time when like as I film for YouTube but at the same time it kind of feels like a burden I know that if I were watching my channel like I wouldn't want to see that all the time it's not something I want to hear and I think a lot of times like sure I might bring what I'm feeling with a message and maybe like that's maybe that's okay maybe that's what makes the difference but I don't like I don't like shitting on the mood at all i was asking myself like something or telling myself something needs to change this could just be part of the process as i you know return back to myself and it's really easy to get into that like flow of like a stuck mindset of feeling kind of bad for yourself so you need to have those moments where you're like you know slap yourself out of it what are you what like what like what are you doing i don't want to pressure myself either when you get into these moments you're not supposed to be hard on yourself you're supposed to be supported of, supportive of what you're feeling and you're supposed to allow yourself to process these feelings and situations and maybe it's essential questions but you are supposed to bring it up and be honest with yourself and i think it's even more confusing for me because i keep getting like spurts of reminder that i am on the right path and i am doing the right thing and i'm flowing as I should because it just doesn't feel correct what I'm presenting and what I'm feeling just doesn't feel correct and then that takes me back into like okay well I'm overworking and I'm pouring into companies that I don't really care for you know you see what I'm saying like this cycle of existential crisis and it's reminded me of before I went to Portland I was working three jobs and one day I got into my car after my shift at my coffee shop and that coffee shop was really cool and the ambiance was great but like I would work by myself so I would get bored a lot like I would just feel very unfulfilled I didn't have that connection with clientele just yet and like I was still pretty new so it was just very it felt unfulfilling in a lot of ways so one day I left my shift I, I closed up the coffee shop I got in my car and I'm like that's it like what okay what else what else what else what else is there? That's how I'm feeling right now. It's reminding me of that. And I just remember feeling so, I think like that was a pivotal point for me. And I was literally like, that was three months before I moved to Portland and a lot has changed for me. But my point is, I don't know where I'm going with this. I don't know where I'm going with this, bringing this up. There's little things that we can do to our lives, add into our lives, habit, habits that you can replace with new habits that will improve your mindset and improve the quality of your life and kind of shift you from that what am i doing state to oh this feels right for a while i had that going well from like november to january it was going well 
I think February, like this month, it's only the 4th, right? It's only February 4th. Literally Sunday, February 4th. This month has been feeling so pressurized. It feels like I'm like in this capsule and it just feels very, very tight. And as soon as I release the lid or I don't know, energetically the, the lid is released, I'm gonna like burst into just a bunch of butterflies and balloons and confetti is gonna pour from it but i just have to get through this phase that i'm feeling the jar feels very i feel claustrophobic in this jar i feel limited in this jar but in reality i'm limitless i am those butterflies i am those balloons i am confetti i fucking love all of those things knowing that i am capable of making like i am the creator of my life sometimes gets to me because when i'm in these like stuck mindsets it feels like i'm manifesting the opposite of what i envision for myself that's a trap in itself some spiritual approaches make it seem like if you have negative or like negative no feeling is negative but if you have these feelings of like sadness and grief and like anger especially anger is a big one that if you feel those feelings you're not going to be able to experience the quality life which is not true because we wouldn't be given these emotions had we not been able to feel them and had we not be able to express them health like in a healthy manner of course you don't want to fall into that trap of being angry all the time but like if you're feeling upset about something you should be having you should give yourself the space to feel that so sometimes when i feel low like i have been this like week or two i don't know when i feel tired and i feel like i'm not able to fill and pour into my cup when i feel that i'm spreading myself too thin in ways that like i don't feel like i don't care for but i feel like i need to to fulfill my my needs as a human being such as rent groceries bills you know that whole thing i don't remember I don't know why I started saying that. I think I'm just saying when I get in those, when I get into that space, it feels like a double-edged sword. I'm restricting myself of what I should actually be experiencing just because I'm feeling this type of way. You know, a big part of discipline is doing, doing the task, doing the thing, even when you feel like you can't, even when you feel like you're not in your 100% space of mind even when you feel like you're tired and just don't want to you're supposed to still show up you're still supposed to do it because that is working through that agony is making you better it's improving you it's it's putting you in a position where you can show up 100% again I just don't feel like doing really anything I was telling I've been talking to myself telling God that I just feel like giving up on so much I just want to throw everything away I just want to quit both my jobs. I just don't. I just. I don't want to finish this graphic design project I'm on. I want to stop posting on YouTube. Like I'm in that phase of wanting to throw all of my hobbies away, but that's just not an option for me. I've done that, and I do that all the time in the past. But this is now where that is not a question, and I have to just feel what I'm feeling while I'm doing the thing, and I have to make the best out of it every time because that is a cycle that we need to break if you're constantly feeling love and joy towards something and then suddenly it just isn't it, you just aren't feeling up to it anymore for ways where it's like you just don't want to but you know that you're gonna want to do the thing once again in the future you need to keep going you need to keep pushing because that is a cycle you're in you're in a cycle and don't get me wrong there are those things like you should you should know when it's time to stop like if you genuinely don't want to do the thing or maybe you want to switch your pivot you want to pivot on you want to pivot your approach toward the thing that's fine but quitting is just not a thing for me it's not a thing for me anymore i might rework my approach like i just said but quitting is just not it's not an option going back is not an option I don't know if I have more to say about this. I'm in a big question mark of existentialism. Coming into 2024, I kind of just came in raw. Raw dogging the new year. I'm already on track towards things that I really enjoy. So my, my objective the whole year of 2024, I keep using my objective, but whatever, is to continue to along the path that I know is destined for me, is to continue flowing. But typically in New Year's, I like to list goals i always have goals in mind just things i want to complete in 2024 like in 2023 i wanted to make my first zine i wanted to launch my website i wanted to commit to yoga like i had a whole long list 
of goals and aspirations for 2023 and I completed like so many of them it was so natural for me and I was so proud of myself too to, to look back at that list and see that I completed it or like I've done everything that I set my mind to but this year it's not that and maybe that can help me ground myself it is is if I sit down and write some things that I want to improve on because I know for example one would be financial I don't have really, I've been really careless when it comes to finances. I know that if I had more coming in, this would not be so, so much of an issue and living wage is just not practical for us. It just really is not. It's hard, it's hard to like continue to manage, but I think there are some ways where I can improve, you know, improve my situation, even though I know it's the odds are against us in terms of living. Writing really helps. Just jotting, making lists, writing really helps. And I think tomorrow before yoga, that's something I can do to start my week. But anyways, I think that's all I have for you right now. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being such a supportive community for me. Thank you for listening. You know, filming for me right now is processing what I'm feeling. It's processing what I'm going through, I think. I process things by verbalizing, like I have to speak about it to fully process. So I find my YouTube channel kind of reflects that. So I want to thank you for caring enough to like listen and caring enough to engage with my content and speak with me. But that's all. I think this is all that I have for now. This week is going to be better and I'm putting my intention out there. God is continuing, the universe is continuing to bless me in very small, subtle ways that are very loud and clear to me. It means a lot, all the love that I get from not only you guys, but the universe and the world around me. It means a lot. And it's what keeps me from KMS, quite frankly. I hate when I get into that state of mind at this vague age because that was a really deep part of who I was at one point. I did not like it here at all and I've grown so much and I've changed, switched my perspective on life and like how I view things and all of that. So when I feel that kind of the like motherly side that takes care of myself, it hurts me because I don't want to KY. I don't want a KMS. I don't. I want the opposite. I want to live. And that's actually, that's that's literally the reality of people who do, who do want a KYS is that they actually want to live. Like, well, we want to live a full life, but it's difficult. And I see you. I understand. And if you feel that way, I hope you understand that you're not alone. There are resources and there are ways that you could go within and build a relationship with yourself to understand that you deserve to keep come, like keep going. You know, a lot can happen in just overnight. A lot can happen overnight. Miracles happen overnight. A lot can happen in a week. A lot can happen in a year. If you make small habits, even mental habits, that can improve your perspective on life, you'll see a big change in your approach to living and your mindset in terms of living. Anyways, I love you so much. I hope that this video somehow made you feel not alone. It made you feel validated and accepted for who you are. As humans, we all just, ex we deserve to be accepted as we are who we are, as we can be in each given moment that is granted us. And anybody who makes you feel less than that, Anybody who makes you feel like you don't deserve that, I ask that the universe removes them from you for your safety and your highest good. My name is Casey. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I love you very much. Um, thank you for listening to me process feelings, thoughts. Thank you. That's it. I hope you have a great night. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a good time whenever you see this. And I'll see you soon. I'll see you tomorrow probably. <sighs> Bye.